Now let's go about another scenario. During your call in the ER, you see Lara, a 12-year-old with fever, abdominal pain and vomiting of few hours duration. Her abdominal exam is positive for direct and indirect rebound tenderness, mostly in the lower right abdomen. You suspect acute appendicitis and request a computer tomography scan, which is a CD scan, of the abdomen. The parents, however, refuse to do CT scan because of the radiation risk. You wonder whether ultrasonography would be a good alternative to CT. So now, let's break down the topic or the PICO or the EBM question into the PICOs. The patient is a child with acute appendicitis. As for the eye, it's ultrasonography versus CT. The comparative, comparative is the CT. This is a diagnosis question to start off with. So the most comparative study is the gold standard one. Usually when there is a gold standard, I would go about searching for the P and the I without going into the gold standard if it's a diagnosis or a treatment question. I look up for the meshes to start off with. I can add the subheadings. I usually do not focus in the very beginning unless I get so many results at the very end upon ending the three concepts together. Now let's look it off in Medline. I start off with breaking the topic into concepts, searching each concept alone, which is now appendicitis, acute appendicitis. I have to be looking for the meshes and not the keywords. Do I explode this mesh? I look it up, go down until I see it's blue. It's nonsense whether I explode it or not, so I click continue. I can be selecting diagnosis from here, from these subheadings. This is uh, the list of subheadings for the diseases. And I click continue. Remember, I don't want more than 30 results towards the end. This is at the point of care. The, patient, the physician doesn't have so much time to go through over so many results to answer his patient, whether this is an evident uh, an evident diagnosis or not. I go about CT now. Would Medline capture CT, which is the uh, abbreviation? It did, unlike Medline, if you recall the brain CT example. So it's computed tomography or tomography x-ray computed. Do I need to explode it? I would explode it and then I click continue. The next step would be the subheadings. I can select any that I find relevant, like methods or instrumentation. At this stage, I'm not going to select any because I already selected one already in the appendicitis. Ultrasonography. From the sequence of the uh, question, how the scenario is written, it shows that CT is the, uh, is the uh, gold standard. But... Uh, if I'm not sure of that, then I would search them, all of them together. If I'm sure, I wouldn't search the gold standard because it's by default will be present in the disease that I want to search. So ultrasonography, I come to it, click on the mesh tree, scroll down I, until I see it, it's blue. I will explode it. I can focus it at this stage because it's so many meshes at a time. I can select methods or instrumentation and then I click continue or not. I'm telling you the options, what you can or not do. Now I want to combine the three different concepts together. And, wow, 243 is so much. But I forgot that this is done to a 12-year-old child. So I have to go and click if there is a, a smaller range. For example, child 6 to 12 years. But 12 is inclusive or not, I don't know. So to be on the safe side, I would click child 0 to 18. This is a diagnosis question. There's no publication type that resembles what I want for, from this clinical query. So I come to the clinical query, I select diagnosis, any of the specificity, sensitivity, best balance. Depends. You don't have time, I would go sensitivity. Luxury of a little bit more time, I will go, uh, you don't have time, you go specificity. If you do, you do have a little bit of the luxury of time, I go sensitivity. 
let's go sensitivity since I got so much 243 I will limit the search 117 it's still too much what would I do at this stage I can focus and I can select the subheadings methods and instrumentation let's focus star 1 and star remember the star before the subset means focusing the subset or focusing the subsets that are meshes if the subset is a mesh only so now that I have limited it instead of 243 I got 30 I can then limit it again to the children to the child and to the therapy diagnosis maximum specificity or again sensitivity seven results if this is too little I would increase it to the sensitivity too little I would go with not focusing only selecting subheadings for example too much there's nothing to go uh, here further because I selected the focus yes I can do further uh, selecting the subheadings as well too little I can either expand to the sensitivity or or with other meshes or go to the broader meshes or or keywords remember all these techniques that we discussed before and to export the search strategy I come here and click search history do not forget to click the search history remember I don't want so much results towards the end the patient is there for me to answer him on the spot but again no researcher does the same does the research the same uh, when I took an EBM course back in my second master's in Pittsburgh my uh, my professor wanted me to search for all the P and the I and the C and the O and there are some professors that do want you to search for them with the keywords they want to as much literature as possible but it's for your patient it's a patient centered so again you have to answer your patient to please your patient and to do that you have to be relevant you have to be effective and very uh, peaceful in manner so efficient so that's how we go about it in medline meshing each of the p the i the c if it's a gold standard i would ditch it in the therapy and diagnosis questions combine using the proper boolean operator select the subheadings select the focusing if i get too little remove too much keep use the clinical query unless you use the clinical query it's not an ebm question let's see how it goes in pubmed so i go let's do it. go to the new problem because it's going to launch by midway to the clinical queries which are under the find again it's of three categories of which i can select the clinical query type systematic review on medical genetics i come here type in appendicitis uh, ultra sonography and CT enter or search so as you can see by default it's therapy I'm gonna change it into the category of diagnosis broad is 1 and 185 I can narrow it it becomes 279 that's not it unless I go and see in the see all whether the the concepts were mapped to the right meshes then I cannot say that I have done my search right so I go to the advanced and I check why didn't take it I don't know So it's under the advanced search details appendicitis was mapped to the mesh great diagnostic imaging was mapped to the mesh great ultrasonography that is but ct was not so the abbreviation here does not work 
so I have to come again and type computed tomography for me to be doing it in the right manner. Again, I go to the advanced and I look under the search details. Now this is mapped to the mesh. Where is it? Here. And now that I can say I have done my search right. No, not yet. You guys, did you forget about the children? So I come and choose the children limitation. Additional filters. I have to add the age. Now this is shown. It's not selected yet. When I select it, I decrease the results to 185 results. If I want to decrease further in PubMed, I come and remove the keywords that are set by default by PubMed. Remember that. When I want to export my search strategy, I come here and click download. It will download into a CSV file. So remember, the keyword made less dumb tactics for me to increase the search as well as broadening my mesh, oring my meshes, not selecting focusing, not selecting subheadings. For narrowing my mesh, I would be selecting the focusing and the subheadings. And now since EBM is not relevantly new as it was before, we can be using the subheadings of each of the meshes. Clinical queries is the essential part of me adding it to the question for me to make it or assign it as evidence-based medicine question. This is easy, but always remember, if you need any help, we're always there to help you and to guide you.